What does it mean to eat right in recovery? Is it a diet or, or a regiment? You know, what is it exactly? I mean, the fact is, I guess with any nutritional revelation one has about themselves, you know, the typical saying, I need to lose some weight, I need to stop eating fast food, I need to get more oranges or greens or whatever, you, you know, you say to yourself. It generally starts with the emotional response to the way you're feeling about your physical body or maybe even the cringe thought of your future self. You know, what am I going to be like when I get old? Just fat, can't move, can't think, Alzheimer's, you know, you start thinking about that stuff. So the image we see in our mind, that's what we kind of see if we continue stuffing our face with carb loaded pizza and beer, right? So regardless if you're in recovery or just an everyday person, you can bet you're probably thinking about the effects of food, good or bad, comfort or clutter food, and one way or the other, you're thinking about it. Now, I can tell you, I did a video back when I weighed 277, and I was on my way to topping out at 298, even on this video, where I looked huge, and it will never see the light of day, so don't ask. But some would go ahead, you know, and round that off to 300 pounds, you know, 300 pounds. But I refuse to do that. Uh, just 298, not 300. But I guess on some mornings I probably was 300, right? But in that video, I revealed the emotion behind really that terrible condition I had realized I placed my body in. Now, granted, this was from drinking and total lack of care for the foods I shoved down my throat, right, during the said drinking. But realize the physical as well as the emotional effect this had on me and has had on many of you and i was only at 277 doing a video on how you know i wanted to start this journey to lose weight and i had more weight to gain because i tried to do it in the wrong way right now what's funny is you have to realize this i played the scarecrow in my high school's production of the Wiz. And yeah, I said the Wiz, not the Wizard of Oz. So I played Michael Jackson's role. I was six foot one and 119 pounds. So I guess I was tight cast. There was only one other guy I was up against. I think he was, his name was Steve. He was um, almost seven foot. And I thought he was going to get the role. But anyway, my neck was so long in high school. They dubbed, dubbed me E.T. sometimes. I mean, not in a mocking, you know, bully way, but it was just kind of funny. I thought it was cuter than ET, but um, at 298, I probably could have revisited that musical, but now I'd probably play the cowardly chubby lion, you know, cause I, I had the body for it, not the scarecrow. And my joints and my bones, now they felt like the Tin Man, you know, when he sang, slide some oil to me, slip some down my spine. If you don't have STP, Crisco will be just fine. But anyway, shout out to Michael Robinson, who did a much better job, who played that award-winning part in the Avondale High School production of The Wiz in 1980-something and whatnot. So I definitely didn't want to be high school skinny, as they say when I had that revelation. I mean, that was too thin. 119.61 ET neck. I mean, I needed a sandwich, right? I was so excited, though, when I attended college away from home because it was one of these all-inclusive, all-you-can-eat type of cafeterias. I mean, it was glorious. Of course, they had the salad bar, which was loaded, and they had just everything you wanted. And, of course, the dessert bar. The dessert bar was awesome. So I gained 35 pounds in like half a year, six months, right? And I was... I was ecstatic. That was great. Got some meat on my bones. Only if I knew what was in store for G, right? But how do you make the change? And more importantly, how do you defend yourself against the emotional attack of overanalyzing how you got here? That's really what gets you, right? And you're thinking, how did, how in the world did I get to 300 pounds?